job. I thought that went all right. Yeah, minor details. All right, so I've got an interesting fact. Why, when you're ignoring someone, do you say, I'm going to give him the cold shoulder? Where did that come from? Don't know. Okay, so in Shakespeare's time, if a traveller turned up to your house and said, can I come in for the night? It was your good Christian duty to let, let him in and give him a, a bed for the night yeah. and feed him. But you were often a little wary because he could be anybody. Quite often they'd, they would give him some food, but it wouldn't be the best bit. So it would be mm -hmm. a cold shoulder yeah. of, oh. of lamb or mutton. It's like, I'm giving him the cold shoulder. That's my fact of the day. My favorite is definitely to take the piss. Explain. I don't know when it was, 1500s or whatever, whenever there was just boats and stuff. They basically used to use urine to dye clothing. Mm -hmm. And it was the most sort of embarrassing job to be transporting the urine. So I see someone, where this is going. So someone came on to shore, and was like, what are you taking there, mate? I'm like, oh, just, you know, cabbages and rice. I'm like, no, wait a minute, you're taking a piss! <laughs> I always thought taking the piss was just like a ruder version of saying you're taking the mickey. I think that became the child's version. Oh, Why Mickey? Oh. Those kites are back. Yeah. What is he doing? I can do that. I just don't want it. Favourite movie villain? What do you reckon? Are we allowed to say people with magic powers? Like No, no, no. No mythical creatures. If it's a toss-up between Scarface and Lord Voldemort, one of them's going to win, right? Yeah, no fanties. Christopher Walken in True Romance? Yeah, that's a good one. But then he's quite funny, so you kind of feel all right. Ray Fiennes in Schindler's List. He's pretty terrible. Tom Cruise, collateral. He's the kind of guy that could kill, could kill his own grandmother. Anthony Hopkins, Silence of the Lambs, is... Top. Well, the fact that he eats people is pretty. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, if you had to eat the human, which part would you eat and how would you cook it? But you've got, it's not like a survival situation, you can, you've got your utensils, you know, seasoning, plates, knives and forks. Well, I'd, I'd go for something like the ear, you know, because it's simple to cut off and if you cooked it enough it would just be like a bit of bacon. Don't you think? Yeah, but there'd be no meat on it. Okay, so what would you go for? I've heard that the cheeks are like the most delicate part. You want to know where I got these scars? <laughs> but if I was really hungry, I'd probably go for the butt cheek. How would you cook it? Assuming that you've got, well, what we've got here. Have we got bacon? What, to add to it? Well, I was thinking I'd, I'd like to smother it in butter, salt and pepper, oregano, and then wrap it in bacon. Like a pig in a blanket? Yeah. On Christmas Day. But if I was doing the cheeks, I'd probably do that really hot pan, just oil, salt and pepper, and just Yeah. And then maybe a little dipping sauce. I've never really understood that. What? I mean, how did that first happen when I feel like it's a giant plastic bag, ties ropes to it, get something with wheels, and then decides to just fly around? Why did it start? Man's, man's, man's desire to fill his life with distractions. Well, it's because there's nothing else to do. Once you've done something, you know it's possible, so there's no point in achieving the achievable. You want to keep pushing the envelope. I bet I can do that. Mm -hmm. You almost get a taste for it. What would you eat with the ear? With it? Mm. The ear's more of a starter. I'd do something like garlic bread with the ear. A bit of red wine. Huh. Maybe an oxo cube. We got any? I think so. So, how are we gonna go about this? I think sheets first, and then... Get the apron on. You can do yours and I'll do mine. You cook the starter, I'll cook the men. Alright. 